The uh, success of semaglutide, <clears throat> Ozempic, has spawned the marketing of a number of purported natural alternatives to the expensive medication. Given that in uh, North and Central America, roughly two-thirds of adults are overweight, there's a large market for any product that claims to cause weight loss. Various herbal supplements make such claims without supplying any clinical evidence. Dietary supplements containing Mexican hawthorn root, also known as tejocote, or yellow oleander, allege to cause weight loss, supposedly based on historical use for this purpose in Mexico. Both these herbs do indeed have a history of traditional use for various ailments, but not for weight loss. That is a recent invention by marketers. Tejocote has been used in Mexico for coughs, respiratory problems, and impaired circulation. There's some rationale for the latter, since hawthorns contain cardiac glycosides that can increase the force of contraction of the heart muscle. Extracts of the leaves and flowers of the white hawthorn have long been used in Europe to treat congestive heart failure. Dosage, of course, is critical, as is demonstrated by the unfortunate case of a healthy 16-year-old girl who ingested eight pieces of her mother's Tejocote root weight supplement in an attempt to lose weight. She ended up in the emergency room with nausea, shallow breathing, drowsiness, and irregular heartbeat. <clears throat> These symptoms suggest poisoning by digoxin, a drug used to treat congestive heart disease. Neither parent used this medication, but the mother revealed that she did have a Teocote root supplement at home. After several days in the ICU, the girl recovered. Yellow oleander also has a history of traditional use in Mexico. It has been applied externally to treat hemorrhoids, rubbed on the skin for infections, and used as a charm against the evil eye. There's no mention in historic references to its use to control weight, but there is evidence that people who have taken it for whatever reason have experienced numbness of the extremities, intense abdominal pain, and vomiting. Yellow oleander also contains the heart stimulant Thevetin B. The plant is potentially more toxic than Heocote, and unfortunately is sometimes used in place of Teocote in products labeled as containing the latter substance. Panicked parents brought a 23-month-old infant to the emergency room after the child had consumed some of her mother's Teocote weight loss pills, thinking they were candies. Turned out the pills actually were made of yellow oleander, and the toddler had to be treated as if she had ingested digoxin. Prompted by this incident, FDA in the U.S. tested a number of products labeled as containing Teocote and found they actually contained yellow oleander instead of what was on the label. Herbal supplements obviously need much more careful regulation, having to deal with toxicity when there's no evidence that the supplement does what it is supposed to do in the first place is appalling. And that for today is our Kappa Joe.